This is just a very quick video uh, to show you a handy little tip that I saw some time ago and I must admit I laughed when I first saw this. Um, I didn't laugh when I tried it because it works perfectly every time. When you go to remove a component or replace a component off a board, um, for, in for instance, I need to get rid of this cap to get access to the MOSFETs. So you've got to turn it over obviously desolder the two legs and then that leaves solder in the holes for you to clean out. There is a really easy way of getting perfect holes every time. So first let's get the capacitor out and yes it was discharged before I started this. I'm just going to wiggle this out. You can use hot air but I'm just using an iron you just rock it back and forward a little bit the legs will start to go through and out the other side and once the cap is out you're then left with the holes which are filled with solder and the only thing that you need really and you are going to laugh at this because I laughed at it when I first saw it but it does work that's your tool, a toothpick. Yeah, I know, sounds stupid or what. Heat the hole back up. And yeah, you've already guessed it, you just poke it straight through. And uh, with it not being metal, it doesn't stick to the solder, but it does actually form the hole perfectly well. I can leave that stuck in, that's gone straight through to the side now. And then again, you just wiggle that out. Heat up the other hole. You might do it first time every time or if not just a couple of times and it will go through just depends what you what type of hole it is but again that's gone through to the side and basically that is le that's left um, two very nice holes um, to put the legs back through so that was a very quick tip as I said I laughed when I first saw it but when I first tried it um, I've always carried on using these nice little tip. I've just taken the MOSFETs out and uh, used the toothpicks to do the holes and just wanted to show you that it does actually work. I've got a light source behind the circuit board and the light is coming through the holes so it does a very good job. Give it a try and see what you think.